guys. Um, I decided to do a short demo today on how to do the alcohol ink on the panel. Um, just because cause tomorrow is going to be busy with other stuff, so I thought I'd try this today. First thing is I have my gesso board panel from Ampersand. 12 by 12, the same um, size as the three pieces I just finished. On this one, I had... I don't know, I coated it with water for some reason. I had gold on my hands. I don't know. Anyway, it's got a little bit of gold acrylic on there, but that shouldn't hurt anything. I think this is, the gesso board is more absorbent than what you would normally use for alcohol inks. But this is how I did it last time, and let's see if it works again. I have my 99% isopropyl alcohol. I have alcohol in a little spray bottle. This is my gold that I'm using. It's Pinata Brass, which I love that better. I've got the, the gold and the copper too. I just love the brass the best. And you just kind of make sure you shake it till the little balls go around in there. And I've chosen three colors of alcohol inks. Oops, I guess that's definitely a one, huh? This is um, Sunset Orange, Wild Plum, and Purple Twilight Ranger inks. I also have a little container here of just alcohol, and that's what I have my eyedropper in. And I will use that eyedropper um, for several reasons, but that's what I apply the brass in there for. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, last but not least, I have my heat gun. And I will use it on a low setting. And the reason I'm using this instead of a hair dryer is because a hair dryer puts out a lot of air and it blows things around. I don't want it to blow stuff around that much. Okay, I just want it to, to barely move things. This is uh, messy, so let's give it a shot here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour some alcohol all over my panel. Normally, I wouldn't do that if this was on glass or UPO or whatever. And I'm going to, let's start with the go. I'm just going to throw some on there. And I'm going to put this on low, and I'm just kind of blowing it. You would think you're at a liquor store. Get blown around a little bit. Now, down here, you can see I've got some that are, um, it hasn't been diluted. So I'm just going to put some alcohol just directly on that. Let it sit for a second. Try it again. Okay. I put some more alcohol on here. And put down my You want to put things away from you so that you don't knock them around. If you've used alcohol inks before, you know that they can be reactivated with alcohol. Like, I really don't want these swirlies in here very much. So I'm going to reactivate them with some more alcohol. I'm going more for the bubbly thing than the little fingers of paint. Can move this around. If I had a lazy Susan, that would be ideal for this, but I don't. Actually, I may, but I just have no clue where it is. This is much more what I'm thinking about here. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm still going to have a little more gold over here to do that. It's a process. I 
I love alcohol inks. I have never done anything really with them because I just really don't have the patience. But gosh, they're beautiful. And I'm just going to keep going, working it just like this. Okay, I'm going to pull in some of the purple now. Let's see what that does. I want to get the edges, so I'm kind of blowing it towards the edge. I can also put some more alcohol down on there with my dropper. <sighs> the alcohol smell? You want to make sure you're in a large room or a very well ventilated area because this is, it'll get you. Okay, let's see. So what do I want to do on here? I think I'm going to want a little more of the pink. Now I could do this. I could squirt this and I don't know if you can see it now what can you see on there how it is affecting the ink there you see little little spots but I don't use it that much when I'm doing this so how about let's see here a little more of the pink just put it right into here right into here Now when you're doing this, you don't choose one hand or the other to, to work with. Because as you can see, I'm my left hand, I'm pouring alcohol on there. It'd probably be a lot easier the other way around. I wanted these to be sunset colors and I, because I want them to go behind the trees. That, that was what I was getting for in this one. So um, this is still a little heavy right in there. So I'm going to just let that sit. And you can see how it's kind of dissolving that ink. And I can do this. I don't have to use the... heat gun on this and not using the heat gun does allow this to make a more subtle edge on there just tilt Play. You're just going to keep doing this until you really just come up with the, the design you like. In my case, I can never leave well enough alone, so I always have to go back in and mess around with it, which I usually regret. Okay, how about that? Let's see what happens here. That's pretty, very diffuse.
that's kind of cool. Um, this is maybe not, see how I am, I'm messing with it again. That's a little more of an outline than I want. But I don't mind some outline, I just don't want the little fingers like that. So. so I can just leave it alone right there. Okay, that's pretty, that works pretty well. Okay, the next thing I am, I'm going to do is I'm going to add this brass. This cool stuff. And I'm going to use my whatever you call this thing. Let's put some on here. It's held it mode. Oops, wrong lid. Put that on here. And now I'm going to pour eyedropper, that's what it is. Got terminal CRS. Okay. okay, let's move this gold around. Now, I don't mind the gold actually having some lines in it. That looks kind of cool. mostly dry. Sometimes it takes the gold a little bit more um, to dry, like right in there. So I'll let this sit for a while. But this is what it looks like. Very, very cool. Anyway, that's all you do, people. That's really it. Um, just a hair dryer is not going to work very well. So uh, even if it's got a low speed, it's still going to blow a little more than what you're probably going to want it to do. I don't know what other boards this would work on. I haven't tried it on anything but a gesso board. So anyway, enjoy yourselves. That's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow at 2 to continue with our adventures in cutouts. Bye.